Hi everyone, Dafresh on the mic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make music like Ben Bomber. First, I start with the kick. Let's EQ it. A little cut to make it more dark and deep. Okay. I duplicate it to create my sidechain channel. Now let's have a shaker. This one. I write the classic shaker pattern. I play with the velocity to bring a groove. In simpler, I add some random pan. EQ8 to cut the lows. And highs. I adjust the volume. Now I need a hi-hat open. I choose a closed one because I want a very short hi-hat. The classic off-beat pattern. EQ8, I clean the lows. And this bad peak here. And I add a subtle reverb to add depth. Now I create a percussion noise. For this I use analog. Turn off oscillator 1 and 2 and bring noise. On the envelope, short decay and no sustain. I write the pattern. Nice. I decrease the release to have something shorter. Okay, let's bring overdrive to add more character to the sound. A flanger effect. Rate at 8, 50% of feedback. And dry rate around 30. EQ8 to cut the lows, we don't want. and some highs too. A sidechain compression with the kick. And a reverb. I adjust the volume.
I group all my drums elements now. Okay, let's go for the bass. It's going to be very simple. I just use the default preset of operator. I write two long notes, F sharp and C sharp. I put chorus to bring stereo and fatness to my bass. With utility, I keep the lows in mono. Under 200 will be fine. Of course, a sidechain compression to fit my bass with the kick. And EQ8 with a low cut. strong high cut. I adjust the volume. Now I create chords with wavetable. Oscillator 1 at 33%. A slightly longer attack, shorter decay and no sustain. Unison to have a richer and larger sound, the noise mode, and I write my chords. Now I bring oscillator 2, 40%, 24 semitones up, so it's 2 octaves up, and I lower the gain to make it very subtle. Now I add vocoder just to bring extra noise and make the chords a little more dirty. EQ8 to cut the lows we don't need. and a little boost here. Glue compressor to add punch and attack to the sound. So for this, I set a slow attack and a fast release. I adjust the threshold and compensate with the makeup gain. Nice. So I chain compression now too.
and reverb with a longer decay and dry rate around 20%. And that's it. I adjust the volume. Let's create the lead synth now with Wavetable again. Oscillator 1 at 64%. On the envelope, no sustain. Frequency around 400. Resonance at 30. And filter in 24 mode. Then I go in the matrix, click on frequency, and set the filter and the amp at 30. I write the melody. I need the metronome to be in the good place. I start here, okay. Oops. Like this, it's better. The second part of the melody now. And listen what we have. Okay, I solo it to focus on the sound design. First, saturator to bring harmonic distortion and character. EQ8 to cut the lows. Delay with a longer feedback and dry weight at 30%. And of course, reverb with a longer decay, low cut, and dry weight at 20. I adjust the volume. I copied the first part here too. And the final element, I want some atmospheric sound. So I went on YouTube to find some ambience sound of children playing and shouting. I found this. So let's cut it and keep only what we want. I unwrap the sample. I want to keep this part here. fade out I put this on here on the fourth kick and duplicate it in the second part of the loop I cue it hard now with big low cut and high cut and reverb to make it very atmospheric with a long decay and dry weight at 50%. I adjust the volume. A 
okay, it sounds good, but to fit better with the tonality of the track, I transpose it down of four semitones. Yeah, sounds much better now. Everything is ready, we can jam with all the elements and listen to the final result. Voilà, the job is done. I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.